Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Woodblock Wednesday. This is Elias Martin with CollectingJapanesePrints.com. Uh, thanks for joining us yet again on another installment of uh, Woodblock Wednesday where we get together and discuss Japanese woodblock prints. Uh, so today's uh, Woodblock Wednesday is going to be interesting. Uh, it's actually inspired by an email I re received uh, last week. Uh, one of the, our viewers uh, asked me um, specifically if there were any um, female artists working in Japan uh, making woodblock prints. And, um, you know, generally speaking, this, this topic is something that uh, gets sort of overlooked uh, quite a bit, at least in my opinion. And yes, the field is dominated by male uh, woodblock print artists, but this particular uh, area in art is actually interesting um, because in Japan, other areas such as ceramics were really closed off to women. Um, there was uh, plenty of reasons, I won't really get into those, but um, primarily superstitious reasons on why women couldn't really become ceramic uh, artists. But it, with woodblock prints, there was actually a lot of much more freedom, in fact, than other mediums or other art forms um, in Japan. And so uh, today I've assembled a group of female um, woodblock print artists that worked in Japan. Um, and then we could, you know, discuss, uh, you know, the differences between their artwork and how they approach their work and, and you know, and what they did. So let's have a look at the, the table and look at the prints. So uh, the very first print I'd like to discuss is a Shinhanga masterpiece. It's a woodblock print uh, by Elizabeth Keith. She is a Western artist uh, who lived in Japan and all through Asia and made uh, woodblock prints of Japan. And in this particular uh, design, it's actually Hong Kong. This uh, design is called Hong Kong Harbor. And um, this was published by Watanabe, um, based in Tokyo. Um, and I mean, basically, I mean, this is one of his, her most important sought after designs. It's a beautiful night scene. And, um, you know, because she was a Shinhanga artist, uh, Watanabe was actually um, sort of in charge of the designs that she was creating. He would hire her and say, okay, I would like a design that featured this or featured that. But because of her, because Elizabeth Keith traveled quite a bit, she also had a lot of experience with um, other locales in Asia. And uh, of course, she was in Hong Kong, and I'm sure she sketched this scene um, before. And so she, this print uh, clearly is based on one of her uh, sketches. And, um, you, you know, I'll move in the, the uh, phone, uh, I'll move in the camera, I mean, so that you could see uh, a bit closer. I mean, it's interesting to note that this design is one of the top Shinhanga designs. Um, and, 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 you know, there's no sense of what, well, wow, it's, it's a woman's design and it's not as important as another uh, work by another artist. Really, her work sold quite well. And uh, this, this design is iconic. It's I, I, I would I would argue it's in the top twenty of the Shinhanga you know movement. You could see her signature uh, here in red, and it's in a red crayon, and that's indicative actually of an early. Uh, Printing. Uh, there's a lot of uh, sort of um, nuances about her work, and we could discuss that on another uh, video about you know the way she worked and and then what it means with a red signature as opposed to a pencil signature and so on. But I mean, I just wanted to share this design because it's it's iconic. It's 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 not just iconic for her work, but it's iconic. Um, of the Shinhanga movement, um, and you know, it really shows the acceptance of female woodblock print artists, particularly Western female woodblock print artists working for Watanabe. And, and this design was done in the in the twenties. So I'm going to move along to three prints that are very different, 
And I'll just zoom across the table so you could see all three designs. And these three prints are by Fujio Yoshida. And Fujio Yoshida was married to Hiroshi Yoshida. Uh, and uh, she was a, a watercolorist, an oil painter, and a woodblock print artist. And I think it's interesting because uh, she's one of the early artists working in Japan that were female uh, in the Shinhanga movement. I mean, she worked alongside her husband and, in my opinion, produced as compelling artwork, I mean, equally as good uh, in oil and watercolor. Um, and when he passed away, she started working in uh, these, the, I would call these almost abstract um, compositions of flowers. They are sort of extreme close-ups of different uh, flowers. And, and, and so what you see here is it's, it's something that very similar to Georgia O'Keeffe's work. And all three designs were done in the 50s. Two of them here were done in 54, and I think one was done in 53. And I, th I think what's interesting in, in, in these three designs is that Hiroshi Ushida, her husband, didn't really approve of ab abstraction. And she produced some woodblock prints of, of there are some florals and other designs that are representational while he was alive. And her, their son, Toshi, was also producing artwork, which was very realistic, very similar to uh, his father's. And as soon as Hiroshi Yoshida passed away, Toshi started doing abstraction. And, and Fujio Yoshida started working in these really wonderful pseudo-abstract uh, designs of, of, of basically of flowers. This is an orchid. Uh, you know, and these are uh, flower. The, the purple one is a flowering kale, which is quite beautiful. And so I just wanted to sort of show the sort of the transition where, you know, in the 50s, uh, a lot of artists were really interested in abstraction. And Fujio Yoshida came from sort of a background of Shinhanga, um, if I could call it that. Uh, and so like Elizabeth Keith, she was working in, in realism early on, but then moved on to something a bit more abstract, which is interesting. So the, the next print, I'm going to zoom in. This is by a Sosaku Hanga artist. And, you know, I, this is the first work that is not a Shinhangan artist in this group. So Keith and Fujio Yoshida worked in the same way, um, carving, uh, I don't believe Fujio Yoshida carved their own blocks on these, but they designed their, their prints and then, you know, carvers and printers worked on the, the print uh, and finalizing it. For this particular print, this is a Sosaku Hanga artist. Her name was Yasu Hirata. And uh, not a lot is known about her. She worked in the mid to late 40s. She was loosely associated with Onchi, Koshiro Onchi. And, um, you know, she worked in this very expressive style. She also experimented with string and other sort of found objects uh, in prints, very much like what Onchi would do. And in this particular print, it's a woodblock print, and you see... It's very rough and very expressive. Uh, she, she used the knife to gouge out the areas of the background as well as larger portions of the design and it, to create a really expressive quality in the print. Um, the title of this is A Woman. Now, uh, I'm not sure if it was just any particular woman or a self-portrait, but just looking at the image, um, there's a lot of freedom here. There's a lot of individuality here. A lot of, uh, you know, expressing of emotion. And, um, you know, I'm going to zoom in so you could kind of see the colors. But I wouldn't be surprised if it was a self-portrait. And this print was done about 1948.
Uh, towards the end of the talk, I'll, I'll zoom across all of the prints so that everyone can see each design um, more closely. So the next work I'll show is another Yoshida print, uh, but this, uh, this artist was related to the Yoshida family, but by marriage. She married the, one of the sons of Fujio and Hiroshi Yoshida, um, and her name was Chizuko, Chizuko Yoshida. She married Hodaka Yoshida. And this particular print uh, is one of my favorite works uh, of hers. I, I think it's a masterpiece. Uh, the design is uh, called Autumn. It was done in 1954, which is the same year the, the, the three designs were done by Fujio, which I think is really interesting. And this particular design is completely abstract. She's working with uh, colors that are representative of the season of, of autumn. And she just creates these wonderful sort of assemblage of, of shapes overlapping uh, with each other, uh, with different colors that are printed over each other and, and creates a lot of different effects, a lot of shadows there. So I'll zoom in uh, so that you could see more closely. So Chizuko Yoshida uh, was working, you know, in the late 40s, early 50s as an artist. And she also is loosely associated with Onchi. She met Onchi in the late 40s and started working at, on abstraction. And this particular print um, right next to Autumn is also by Chizuko Yoshida. It's a very rare mono print of hers. And in this particular print, she's working much more closely to the work of Onji, uh, where she basically used found objects and inked them and printed them onto this paper using sort of a, a woodblock matrix that they were attached to the woodblock. And so these objects were impressed into the wood um, using a woodblock. So I, I just find it really interesting to see this that was done right around the time of her association with Onji. I mean, this is a purely abstract work, and she she worked in pure abstraction uh, during this period, and then she ch changes her style a bit and moves moves towards sort of realism or pseudo realism. Um, and she depicts a lot of landscapes with butterflies, and, and so in this particular period, it's right before she starts experimenting with realism again. So just sort of the, to recap, and I'll go around the table once more. Uh, today we were discussing uh, female artists working in Japan. And we started, you know, I'll move over and we'll, we'll start where I, I started. We started with Elizabeth Keith. And she was one of the first uh, Shinhanga artists, uh, Western uh, artists, also female. Uh, Watanabe hired her very early on during the Shinhanga movement. And her work was wild, widely accepted and very, very popular. And this particular design is her probably her best known work. Uh, and, and so this, this print really shows, uh, you know, Watanabe's sort of acceptance and, and willingness to work with a female artist. And as I mentioned, in this tradition, it was not a, a, a tradition where women couldn't participate. Uh, it, uh, unlike, for example, ceramics, where they were basically banned, um, from working in kilns, uh, you know, w women did design, um, woodblock prints. And Watanabe certainly utilized um, Elizabeth Keith. There were others. There was uh, Lillian Miller, Helen Hyde, Bertha Lam. And, you know, and those were the 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 most common um, female uh, artists working in or around Japan in woodblock prints for the Shinhanga movement. And so now moving along, we discuss the work of Fujio Yoshida, also a Shinhanga artist uh, who decided to work uh, it with a more abstract sort of uh, quality in her work in the mid-50s.
certainly in line with Georgia O'Keeffe's sort of aesthetic. And on the other side of the table, we saw some Sosaku Hanga uh, artists. And these are female artists that designed their own prints, carved their own blocks, and printed their own work. And in this particular case, we see a, a really expressive design of a woman. And in this design, we have this purely abstract work. Um, this one, again, is titled Autumn, and it sort of represents all the colors um, of autumn. And this last work uh, by Yoshida, Chizuko Yoshida, purely abstract, uh, working with found objects. So a Chizuko Yoshida, another Chizuko Yoshida, and a Yasu Hirata. Well, I want to thank all of you for joining me today. Uh, we discussed some of the most innovative uh, Japanese woodblock prints by uh, female artists working in Japan. And, you know, I, I, as I said at the beginning of the, the talk, this, this presentation was really inspired uh, by an email uh, from a viewer. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me or, you know, make a comment uh, on the video below, and I'm, I'd be happy to respond. And in fact, I may even respond by doing a video dedicated to the question. And so if you like uh, these videos, uh, please like us on Facebook, uh, follow us on Instagram, and the website is collectingjapaneseprints.com. We're getting ready for an exhibition in a couple weeks of night scenes. And in a couple weeks, I'll have an extended version of Woodblock Wednesday where I give everyone a preview of that exhibition. So, uh, Elias Martin, thank you very much. Signing off. See you next Wednesday at uh, 1 p.m. Chicago time for Woodblock Wednesday. Thanks.